Hey guys, and welcome back to Post Phenom episode number 21. And the first thing you may or may not notice is I've got a ton of dye in my inventory as well as some other things. And the dye I have because I decided to part our lovely loud sheep from the cows. And I kind of want to color them. Get rid of you. Uh, I kind of want to color them, simply because colored wool, if we decompose it, it will make things a lot easier. You know, it'll give us some resources that we otherwise wouldn't get that easily, so I'm all for it. As silly as it looks. <laughs> okay, but let's get rolling. Um, I've also crafted the aluminum hypophosphite Ooh, I believe I actually said it right something like that um, for uh, quartz which apparently isn't made like that I also crafted some normal quartz as you remember just gallic acid with some silicon dioxide um, so that's not really hard but I want charged uh, charged there you how did I make you yeah oh come on please tell me you oh that's why right I was trying to put a whole stack in there <laughs> um that should be like what do you really take so much energy for one oh my god Oh wow. Oh my gosh. Okay. Anyways. Quest book. Because I want to do a few things today. First of all, I want to do the digital storage. I, anyways, I want to start it. And for that, we also will need a electronics assembler, as I noticed. So that's actually really convenient because that's another quest. <laughs> um, but let's follow that one first. So let's go into the digital storage we said last time. Because we will need a better storage system than all this. Simply because it's getting annoying. Um, so Fluix Crystals. We can make by throwing normal and charged quartz into water and some redstone to it. So that shouldn't be too hard. We have some water right here. Uh, but I'm thinking, let's get a bucket. Because I'm thinking, I'm not really easily getting into that, so I may need a hole somewhere else. Let's take, right. let's take you. So, some quartz with some charged quartz, as well as some redstone. Yep. Gives us two Fluix Crystals. How dare you. How dare you attack us. Yeah, we... we no, Robot. No. No. Sorry, mate. Sorry. We really need to get into some soul binding stuff as well. Because then we can prevent, uh, prevent everything from spawning around here. Which I'm a big fan of. Oh, wow. I'm heating up so much. Um, anyways, so we got Flux Crystals, right? From that we get Flux Dusk. Dust, not Dusk. And some diamonds because we have tons of silicon. So that's that. Now, I'm thinking before we advance, I've read of a cool trick to multiply that stuff. I don't know if it's working here. It should. So let's find out. Um, from that, you can combine dust with sand. Exactly, to get seeds. Um, and those you can just throw into the water and you should get everything. So from one dust and one seed, you get 
uh, from one dust and one sand, you get like two seeds. Do you place them? No, you don't. That's working. Let's throw those in. Yep, that's definitely working. And those should change into, into quartz eventually. And the tulip tip said it doesn't despawn, so yeah, that should work, I hope. Seriously, that inventory is so full. Uh, let's do something cool. Because if we check for iron chest, there's upgrades. For example, iron to gold. I'm all for that. Mine of that, and some diamonds. Okay. Uh, wait, how is the diamond chest made? Oh, oh we only need two, two diamonds. Alright. Two diamonds, some glass. Glass, glass, no. No glass. I do not approve of that. Let's get some glass going. Oh, no, not in you, though. Ah, I can really need to use the normal furnace. Um, if we put it in there, it'll make quite clear glass, which works, but it's not the right thing. Um, no, we have glass there. What else? Oh, we need six glass, alright. And that's everything we need. Let's make one of those and make a diamond chest upgrade as well. It's kind of silly considering we will get a new storage system soon, but it's so much better. <laughs> okay. Um, so let's continue with the next quest, I suppose. Which would be circuit, the circuit press, actually. I believe we need the circuit press before Cat 9. But we shall see. The Applied Energistics Corporation kept its secrets closely guarded. To reproduce their technology, you will need to recreate the special presses and circuit cutting plates they use for their special tech. Yes, indeed. So we need a Inscriber Logic Press and a Silicon Press. Um, that's not too hard, but for that we will need a Inscriber. Which again needs the electronics assembler. I kind of checked that out before. Let's read that quest as well. Simply because it. Oh, we read that before. Okay. Well, never mind. What do we need for you? We need two pistons, a microchip tier 2. That's really easy. Get some wood. Um, microchip tier 2. Like so, right? Yes. Uh, for iron and two piston and one of those. That should be the inscriber. Oh no, that should be that thing. Allows constructing robots and other devices from a number of different uh, computer parts. Interesting. Well, that's that quest. Let's take the disassembler because I don't think I will go into drones. It's like it's a little bit too overwhelming for now, I believe. Considering I have no clue how any of that stuff works. I'm running out of space. Unless you know I wanna add some more over here or something, but uh, let's get you right right there. Oh, you don't. Oh, you do require power. Well, between episodes, guys, between episodes, unless I need it right now. Um, yes, that's that. Okay, so back to the inscriber. We need four steel ingots. That's not too hard. Still have some of those left. Um, they have to be stickies, don't they? Oh, oh. Rubber. I love rubber, apparently, because that's making it so much easier. 
<laughs> and all we need is a pure fluid crystal, which comes out of those seeds. Yes, I did a little bit of preparation between episodes. How long will you take? Isn't there like a crystal? Can we kill crystal? Either? What? Ooh. There, crystal growth accelerator. Um, that might be something. Oh, it. Nah. Nah. Yeah. I don't know. Is it worth it? it will probably require energy, won't it? Mm. Huh. Nah. How long do you take? Seriously? 1%? Oh, wow. Alright. Let's see if we can do something else meanwhile. Because that will take at least until next episode. Unless I cut it out, which I suppose I could do. I don't want to draw in case. Go away. Um, let's check if we can make the cables meanwhile. Energistics technology requires a special cable to carry the very dense amount of information required to transmit matter as energy. Huh, an e glass cable. Flux. Well, we need to make those anyways, I suppose. So. White, orange, magenta. Flux? Flux. Quartz cable. Quartz dust. Seriously? Um, do we get quartz dust from our sack now? Why did it. Oh, right. I. Yeah. I just downloaded the official hotfix and that gives you a new config. Oops, go back. And a new config means it changed back to Fahrenheit instead of Celsius. So, in case you wonder how to change that, you go to Environment Menu, Video Options, strangely enough, and then Temp Scale Fahrenheit to Celsius. Uh, the rest should be fine. I don't want the sweat particles. Simply because they're annoying. Done. And... Robot is downstairs. Oh, Robot, you're so silly. Uh, that gives us some quartz dust. Um, let's get two more. Okay. Also... Get our bar filled up simply because we're here anyways. Um, get glass. And get some pipes. Ah, I wish I could just hold shift and lift mouse button. Anyways, um, so we need to change those to fluix. We do have some fluix crystals. Wow, that's draining so much power. I will need to do that between episodes as well. Anyways, we have enough Luke's crystals for doing that, so let's do it. Okay, that's that. Cool. Um, let's take those cables because they require a lot of stuff from us. And that gives us the growth chamber, which is actually what I was kind of thinking of doing anyway, so... Why not? Oh, it also gives us some pure fluid crystal. That's perfect. Yeah, let's get the growth chamber. So we need... Uh, oh, thank god. We need another source of water. Do we still have the redstone? No. Now we do. Um, oh, Did you look at that. Sometimes it's really helpful to have dirt everywhere. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Those color chips are so cool. Okay, 
Um, now we have quite a lot of them. That's helpful. Okay, um, we have those, so we need some iron. Cool. Uh, like so, so, and so. No. Oh, quartz glass. Ew. Um, fuse quartz. How would you do quartz glass? Are you for real? We need more quartz dust. Okay, okay. You like doing that to me, don't you? Four, five. That's all we need. All we need. So let's make the growth accelerator. Cool. Is that quest finished? It is. Um, we can get two more of those. Um, well, you know what? I'll take them. No idea how they work, but might be worth it. So do I place it like? For real. They place it like right underneath. Device offline. Well, how do I get you online? Um, I suppose you need energy, huh? Mm. Let's just check that out really quickly. Because if it does, I can do it between episodes. I got a better wrench right here. If it doesn't require energy and it requires the network to work, like the actual ener applied energistics network, uh, then that's unfortunate output. Let's see. What? I, I didn't want to drink that. Um, actually, guys, let me be right back. I need to check that out. Alright guys, I'm back and I researched a little bit and tried some stuff out. Um, those things require a ME glass cable connection. A little tip on the side, don't break those with a pickaxe, they will go forever. So do use your wrench, battle wrench, whatever, to get them just like any other kind of machine. Otherwise it will break. Um, but yeah, they will require a ton of energy and some ME glass cable, which won't connect to a capacitor bank. They won't connect to the energy conduit and stuff like that. So, yep, they're a little bit harder to get online. So, don't worry about those for the beginning. What I did notice, however, is that a single seed will apparently grow faster than multiple ones. At least that's how it looked. Uh, let's check that out here again. Let's throw the rest of them in there. Um, they will have to grow between episodes. I also went ahead and kind of made the inscriber. I didn't hook it up yet, but I kind of made it again. That's the recipe. Um, I actually was planning on recording it, but apparently Fraps decided to not really work in that moment. But yeah, we, we got everything except the pure Fluix crystal and those we got from the quest for the cables anyways. So that. So, yeah, that's not, you know, that's not really a loss or anything. So that's not too bad. Um, let's actually get that hooked up really quick. I'll, again, prettify it between episodes, but... If we get that working, we can make some of those presses, which we need. So, yeah. Um, like right there. Somewhere here. Okay. Um, oh, right there. Alright. Can work with that. 
can't work with that, however. I don't approve. Um, so right here. Let's get that hooked up right there. And they have energy. All right. Good, good, good. Um, will you stay? You will. Good. Let's get out of here. Um, cool. So now that we have those, we need. Which ones do we actually need? Um, Inscriber, uh, Logic, and Silicon. Okay. Gosh, my adventure is always so full. I need backpacks. Actually, do we have Ender? No. There is no Ender pouch. Is there? Too bad. There is no other thing. We only have those standard backpacks from last time. <laughs> that makes me sad. I want a multifunctional backpack, not just like one that can take one specific kind of thing. Alas, we don't have any remote storage for now. For now. Uh, we will probably find out. But anyways, we need the... In yeah, one of those. No, we need the logic and silicon one. So logic just requires... Oh, shapeless crafting, actually, not the inscriber. Well, so much for that. We don't need that. Alright. Well, not yet, anyways. Um, block of iron, atomic alloy, and gold ingot. And you probably the same with silicon? Yes. So we need two blocks of iron. We need one silicon, wherever it is. Anyways. <laughs> we need one gold, two blocks of iron. One silicon. Two atomic alloys. Which again I went ahead and made some more between episodes. Simply to save you guys time. That's the logic one and that's the silicon one. What now? Oh, the inscriber. Yeah, we made that anyways already. So let's get some flux crystals. <laughs> we get some more gold and stuff. Let's get rid of that. So what do we do now? Um, maximum storage. That sounds like something I approve of. Hey, real. Give me a second, guys. Are you for real? My gosh, they're relentless today. Just get off my roof! For, for real? Ah. Seriously, who had the silly idea to spawn in a desert? Ah, Minecraft. Why you hate me? <laughs> ah. There we go. Is there water? No. Obviously not. Uh, four. Sorry guys, I know, always this water stuff, but, you know, desert. It's how you live or you die. Let's also get the capacity bank, the uh, capacitor bank back in place. Um, so we need AME drive. Now that you're able to create technology cap capable of changing matter to energy and back again, you can create a storage device able to store thing in digital form, <laughs> making it the most versatile storage device you can imagine. Uh, I know other ones as well, but yes, I approve. So we need a ME drive. Uh, there. Oh, those look like diamonds or stuff. Um, those actually look like engineer's best friend. Yes. So let's get some of those. 
They say that diamonds are a girl's best friend. This is doubly true if that girl's also an engineer. I like it. A printed en engineering circuit. Alright. Oh, just keep it like that. So we need the engineering press. I knew it. You are lying to me. I will make you a diamond. Uh, diamond. Block of iron. I'm happy I made some more atomic alloys. Uh, like so. And the engineering press. Okay, so we need that and a diamond. Well, that's not too hard. Let's make a few of those. Do we do have quite a lot of diamonds after all. So now we get to enjoy the inscriber. Achievement get! Unknown technology. Well, it's not that unknown. It's in the quest book. And that's producing us the printed engineering circuit. Cool. Which will reward us with engineering processors, which we will take some more as well. That's amazing. Oh, oh we need to make one of those. Oh, uh, dread. Oh, we just need silicon, alright, and redstone. Okay, okay, okay. That's not too hard. Uh, we don't have much silicon left, I see. Uh, I'm not a fan of that. Uh, we do have red. No, we don't. No, we do. Okay. Oh, you only take one at, at a time, huh? Alright, alright. Gotta automate that eventually. Uh, how, we, how do we make you? Oh, we just... alright. Come on, you do have energy. There we go. Um, by combining those two with a piece of redstone, we will get the engineer's processor. Well, engineering processor, anyways. Um, oh, manual submit. There we go. So you get four and four more of those. Lovely. Rain, snow, not yet. Uh, so what did we need for the ME drive? Um, two of those, two of those, and an iron ingot. Well, four iron ingots, anyway. That's amazing. We have those already. Wow, that's a very productive episode, apparently. Um, no, 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 we don't even need you. Can just craft it. And we have an ME drive. Perfect. So, as a re reward, we get a 1k ME storage cell and we take another of those because those are the units you store stuff in. I will need to rearrange stuff as well, don't I? Uh, I will need to make some more space somewhere. Huh. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. Place that right there because it probably won't work anyways yet. Oh, that's it? If you don't tell us about the interface. Alright. Anyways, if you place those in there, um, they have a storage of 1024 bytes or 63 types. So you can basically put 63 different stacks in there, or 1,024 of one type. Which is quite a lot, actually. It doesn't sound as much, especially considering the millions and millions of carbon and everything we have down there. <sighs> but yeah. <laughs> so, to access those, I'm not sure we can put that into the episode, but it'll probably be a longer one. We need a ME terminal like so which is out made out of a logic processor which also requires oh okay we have that one uh it requires the stuff yeah it'll require a lot of things now thankfully we can get those rather easily we'll just need some gold 
Um, let's see if we can fit it in. So logic, logic makes one of those golden um, circuits. Then if we put the silicon one or silicon in, we get one of those silicon circuits again. And if we combine those with some redstone, we should get a golden one, like a golden processor. Which should... Oh. It's a manual detect quest. Hooray. Hooray, hooray, hooray. Who doesn't love those? <laughs> uh, logic. Let's try again, this time without changing it. Uh, silicon. What's that? Third pedestal? Seriously? Ooh, we need to get one of those. Anyways, let's say, okay. Oh, now it did. Are you for real? Manual. Oh, we made that one anyway, so alright. Let's get a logic processor. Let's also turn that stuff simply because we don't need those. Oh, actually, we do need those, don't we? Uh, no, we don't. So, let's turn them. Okay. So, what we do need for the ME terminal, just to show you, it will probably require energy, so it won't work, but yeah. Um, we do need that. Which needs Fluix dust. Um, we don't have any dust, do we? Oh, well, let's quickly make some. At least just one? Of course not. Well, Fluix dust. And since we need two of those, we need two du uh, four dust. Okay. Okay, let's get crafting. Two of those. Oh, make eight of those? For real? Oh no! No! Are you real? Hey. Alright, we have enough of those, so it's not too bad, but. Gah! Would be very helpful if I could read, wouldn't it? Why can I not make you? Logic. Oh, we do have logics. Looks dust and a pure certus. For real? Oh, we need a charge. Yeah, alright. Yeah, we can get that too. Just strain our energy one more time. Gives us one of those. And now all we need is the illumination, illumination pad, Il oh well, illuminated pa panel, but you know, you get the idea. Uh, which requires, we need one glowstone and then we have everything. Right? Two glowstone. Nope, wrong one. Give me the right one. Said give me the right one. Give me the right one. There we go. Why do you not want to do that? Is it Certus class? Yes, it is indeed Quartz class. It really. <laughs> this mod hates me! There. Give me the Quartz dust. Alright, alright. Let's calm down. Let's make some more of that. And let's get this one, and let's get the ME terminal, finally. Now all we need to do is... No, 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 I learned. All we need to do is place that on top of it. And it won't work because it's offline. Oh, will it actually? Can we put stuff in? No. Yeah, I figured. It, it doesn't have energy. Like, 
none of those systems has energy, so it won't work. But yeah, that's the, be the very cute beginning of a better storage system. It's actually kind of a server wreck, isn't it? That's amazing. But yeah, guys, do take care, and I hope you enjoyed the episode. If that's the case, feel free to leave me a like, comment, or subscribe for more videos of this kind. And yeah, anyways, I hope to see you guys next episode. And until then, do take care.